Tigers hosting the Astros. The Astros are minus 178 on the money line. The Tigers are plus 150. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two runs, meaning, and then the Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are actually minus 110, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They are going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Valdez pitched once against the Tigers this year. Seven innings, three runs, two of which were earned. They lost that game 6-3, to three, and he struck out nine batters in that game. The Astros have lost his last two starts. They are 5-5 five and five as a team in his last 10 starts or 10 appearances. He's averaging six and a third innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. The over is three and two in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 4.2 and he's averaging six and a third innings pitched. The Astros are two and three in those games. Six earned runs, five strikeouts, one home run, 88 pitches. Then three earned runs, four strikeouts, two home runs, 95 pitches. Then we've got six earned runs, three strikeouts, another two home runs, uh, 93 pitches. Then no earned runs, seven strikeouts, and 93 run, uh, pitches, and then six earned runs, one strikeout. Uh, da, 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 when this thing wants to load. Well, he hasn't been pitching all that great. Two home runs again and 80 pitches. So he's given up multiple home runs in three out of his last four games, uh, three out of his last five games, and a home run in four out of his last five games. For Manning, he pitched once against the Astros this year. Five and two thirds, two runs, two earned. They won that game six to three, and he struck out four. They're five and five in his last ten appearances. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and three point one strikeouts. They've won his last two starts. He's got an ERA of three point six, and he's averaging five and a third innings pitched. The under is hitting his last two starts, and the under is three and two in his last five starts. One earned run, two strikeouts, one home run, eighty seven pitches. No earned runs, one strikeout, ninety pitches. Six earned runs, three strikeouts, two home runs, 93 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, one home run, 85 pitches. And then seven earned runs, five strikeouts, three home runs he gave up in that game, and 87 pitches. Now, head to head, the home team is five and five. The Astros are eight and two against the Tigers in their last 10. The favorite is eight and two on the money line. However, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last three. The under is five, four, and one, and the under eight and a half runs specifically is six and four. The last series they played against each other, the Tigers took two out of three in Houston, winning seven, six, six, three, and then the Astros won the last game eight to two. The Astros got the shit kicked out of them today by the Red Sox. I think 17 to one or 17 to three. It was bad. And the Astros have just been playing mediocre lately. The, the Tigers have been playing a little bit better, and I understand that they are home. This is just a question of which one of these pitchers do you trust more, and there really isn't a solid answer on that one. I'm going to take the home underdog in this one. I'm going to take the Tigers with the money line. I'm going to take the Tigers getting the runs, and I'm going to go over. It may bite me in the ass, but I think the Tigers are playing a little bit better right now. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.